final game until the World Cup tonight against Germany. Yes guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today welcome to the final international preview for both England and Poland until the World Cup. Yes, we are already relegated but today is still a big game because we've got to perform well as tonight it is our final preparation game for the World Cup in just around two months time. So yeah, make sure to smash like, subscribe, and let's get into today's preview for today's game against the Germans. Alright, let's have a look at the form coming into today's game at Wembley. So we'll start with Germany, and Germany have a loss, win, draw, 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 draw. So Germany, they've got a lot of draws lately, and most of their draws have been 1-1. Uh, Germany, their last game was a 1-0 defeat. At home against Hungary. Germany, last time they played away, was a 1-0 draw against Hungary. If we look at us, we have a loss, loss, draw, draw, loss, win. Our form isn't that great. Last game, 1-0 loss against Italy. It wasn't great at all, to be honest. You know, We've lost the last two games. But to be fair, last time we played at Wembley, we won 3-0 in a friendly against the Ivory Coast. So hopefully we turn up and win. Okay then, so this is my score prediction for tonight's game at Wembley. I think it will be a difficult game, even though obviously we are already relegated to League B, which is a bit frustrating, but I think tonight is still an important game, even though we are relegated. Well, it's important for Germany as well, even though they can't, they can't get into the Nations League finals. I think both teams just want to play well and get the result what they want. Um, because obviously this is the last game for both England and Germany before the World Cup. For me though, we just haven't been playing well recently. And it's probably going to be the same same as usual. Just slow, boring football. And uh, I always say oh, it's going to be a draw or we're going to win. And we always lose all the time. But you know, we are at Wembley. We did win at Wembley last time. For, for me though, Germany are a good team. And they've got a really good attack. They do have a brilliant attack, you know, Sane, Musiala, Muller, and etc. But f I'm going to say a 2-1 win for Germany. I think Germany are going to win. But yeah, hopefully we win though. Okay, well, let's have a look at the players to look out for. So we'll start with Germany, who are the visitors. So first of all, I'm going to start with David Rayum of RB Leipzig, who was, according to Fortmore, man of the match with an 8 with a rating of 8, which is the highest hour for the players. Um, he got 82% accurate passes. Um, successful dribbles was 100%. And yeah, to be fair, was decent to be fair. Another player who looks he looks who like who looks like he did okay was Leroy Sane. 82% 82%, 82 um, possession. Um, or passes that is, sorry. Um, attacking looked good. Attack was good. Um, and Nicolas Sula and Johannes Hoffman looks good as well for Germany. Um, if we look at our game last time out against Italy, to be honest, I'm saying no one because it just wasn't that great, was it? In my opinion. So yeah, I'm saying no one for the for England. Okay then, so now it is time for my predictive lineup to face Germany tonight at Wembley, and I am I'm going with a three four three. We played that formation when we last played Germany at Wembley in the Euros when we won. So yeah, in goal I'm going to go with Aaron Ramsdale, Nick Pope. I just don't think I don't want him to start, in my opinion. I just think he was just too slow against Italy, I would say. So, I'm going to go with Ramsdale. He put, and speaking of Ramsdale, he made two brilliant saves in training for England. So, yeah, I think I think Ramsdale should be in goal. With a back three of Connor Cody, Fakayo Tamori and Eric Dyer. Maguire, he didn't, do, he didn't do nothing wrong, but I don't know why he's called up in the first place. But I think Tamori and Connor Cody will come in. Uh, with I think Dyer will keep his place. Four in midfield, Trippier, Rice, Mount and Saka. 
I think Bellingham will drop to the bench. So I think it'll be Rice and Mount in the two midfield with obviously Trippier and Saka out wide. Um, and then up front, I'm going to go with Phil Foden, Harry Kane and Jack Grealish. Sterling, was an, he was very bad. I didn't like the way Sterling played. Every time he got the ball, he lost the ball. He just didn't have a good game at all, Sterling. So I think I would start Grealish over him. I think Foden and Kane will keep their places. But yeah, so predictive lineup today. I'm going to go Ramsdale, Ramsdale, Cody, Tamori, Dyer, Trippier, Rice, Mount, Saka, Foden, Kane and Grealish. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash a like, subscribe. I'll try and get this out before kickoff. And yeah, see you next time. Adios, I love the England.